think what we tend, to, what we have tended to forget uh, during the Occupy movement, I mean, no, some people say it's over, I would say more that it's sleeping to a certain extent, so uh, we have to see the Occupy movement as part of a more global trend, probably. Uh, so, starting from back from to stakeholder theory, I think what we've tended to forget during these occupations is actually the fact that those people, those protesters, those supporters of the movement were actually stakeholders of large corporations, or MNEs, if you prefer. Um, they are like citizens, but they also are employees of large corporations. They are uh, relatives of employees of large corporations. They, have cust they are customers of large corporations. So these people were actually key stakeholders for corporations. And so if corporations actually forget that uh, those people are actually their stakeholders, they run the risk of being disconnected from societal expectations. So we have to see those movements as the symbol of something which is not going wrong in the story about business. So with some things which actually shows that um, we have to create a new one to a certain extent. So is it a point of no return? I would say it's not a point of no return, but uh, business people and uh, corporate managers should be aware that they have to look closely at what those people actually had to say about you know, the corporate world to a certain extent. Um, so what they have to say, I mean, in the study we've done with a colleague from the Essex School of Management, uh, we've shown that what they highlight is actually three different things. So the fact that corporations have, of course, become politically dominant to a certain extent. So uh, they, they, exist, they exert power over people, but they don't always uh, demonstrate the accountability that should go with that political power. Uh, then they tend to uh, focus very much on shared oriented ideology, on free market orientation and tend to consider it as the only way of progress, which is not, so this is also what the movements are trying to show. And finally, they also tend to show that um, those corporations increasingly occupy the cultural space. Too. So those are three different things, so a political one, a socio-political one, and a cultural one, uh, a socio-economic one, sorry, and a political one. And of course, large corporate actors, but also the stakeholders of those corporations have to take that into consideration. So what they should do first, is of course to show for first more empathy and more understanding about what those people were actually asking or were like demonstrating about. Uh, so they have to show empathy, they have to show understanding, and even though if they're not, they don't agree with those people, they have to hear their points and they have to treat their point with humility. Otherwise, the gap between corporations and society is only going to widen. Uh, widen sorry. Second, they have to think about like the uh, redistribution policies and uh, governance issues. So, of course, income disparities today become one of the key problems, and this is actually at the very heart of the Occupy movement. Um, those income disparities, they should be dealt with not only at the corporate level, but also at the corporate level. So they have to develop like, structures of governance and of remunerations, uh, of redistribution, that should be more fair to a certain extent. Um, so next to redistribution, and maybe more importantly, what, and this is linked to what we've discussed today uh, in this symposium on you know, stakeholder theory, um, Next to redistribution, which is of course very important, we also have to think in terms of creation of value. Okay, so uh, it's not sufficient to redistribute to redistribute, you know, uh, resources more fairly. We also have to create resources and we have to create outcomes like business outcomes in a more inclusive manner. So if we don't manage to include more stakeholders, including those movements the, uh, and their expectations, in the value creation process, we're going to miss something. And uh, if we miss that thing. Uh, those movements might only re-emerge stronger uh, and probably more determined than ever uh, to change the status quo and maybe hopefully they might change it at some point. But we see that in the future. But so I don't think it's a dead end for corporations, but I think they should definitely have a serious look at what those people were actually asking.